everyone, my name is Ella. Welcome back to my channel. So, today I am going to make a chit chatty sort of video and it's yeah it's a q and a video i made a poll on my instagram asking you to ask me some questions uh, in relation to wicca of course and that's what we'll be doing today so i have the questions on my phone and i'll be answering as many as i can yeah let's begin how did i start my wiccan journey how old was i just for reference i am turning 22 this year and I grew up in a very witchy, esoteric kind of family already. Both my mom and my grandma read the tarot cards. They also use crystals for crystal healing and just general uh, crystals in their house and homes as well. My grandma also owned a tea shop back in the day. So I essentially grew up with witches anyway. Um, but Wicca I actually discovered around 10 or 11 years old and I've always been really really inclined towards witchcraft anyway especially crystals as well um, but yes my Wiccan journey I started with 11 years old I read a book actually by Silver Ravenwolf and that's how I discovered Wicca and I've stuck with it ever since so I've been Wiccan since over 10 years now yeah it's been quite a journey what is it like being Wiccan and have you ever met other Wiccans? So over the 10 years of being a Wiccan, I've definitely had, I wouldn't say ups and downs, but I've had some experiences that were both positive and negative as with most things in life. Um, so of course in school when you're younger, I think people had, you know, they've either thought I was being like, that I was joking or, you know, I wasn't to be taken seriously, obviously, especially if you're that young. So I had a lot of people who like didn't take it seriously, who made fun of it. Um, then I've had really negative encounters as well, especially with people thinking that I'm satanic or something like that. But for the most part, I've actually had really, really positive encounters and really positive. My friends have definitely always been really, really supportive and open towards it. My boyfriend as well, my family, of course, definitely. So I think the negative experiences are mostly with strangers who just, they don't know any better. And it's just, something new and something different for them and a lot of times magic is associated with you know the circus or harry potter or something like that you know so it's really difficult difficult for someone who didn't grow up with those ideas to encounter someone who practices but yeah um have i met any other wiccans yes i have i have met both wiccans from social media especially in the last few years which is really something nice actually that it's grown so much i haven't met necessarily a lot of wiccans in person but i've met other witches especially in i'm half german by the way especially in germany there's one crystal shop or witch essential store in general and there was a lovely lady that i've met she was a witch and of course my own family also here in latvia I have one of my really, really close friends, her name is Eggie. She's also, I'm not sure if she actually identifies as a witch herself, but she's very witchy. So yeah, in Latvia they have a lot of pagan uh, history and a lot of people who still are very pagan. So a lot of people here have very similar belief systems to me and they're not necessarily Wiccans, but I would still kind of, kind of count that in, um, yeah. <laughs> How did your boyfriend react to your Wiccan spirituality? He is really, really open to it. He's always been really, really kind and nice about it. At the beginning, I had to kind of teach him, like, please don't touch my altar, um, and things like that, because he obviously didn't really know anything about it. He's Christian. But now he's really, really cool with it. Everything's really, really smooth. Uh, sometimes I'll read tarot cards for him. Um, so we really respect each other and each other's religions. So yes, he had a really good reaction to it, I would say. Do you practice on a daily basis? What are your daily rituals? So I wouldn't necessarily say that I practice in a sense that I create rituals and spells every single day, but it's part of my daily routine. Um, 
it's definitely just incorporated into my life especially at this point though at the beginning it was definitely more that i was trying to force it i guess i you know i think everyone at the beginning is like i really want to practice wicca how do i make the most of it you know and i would try and make a lot more spells and a lot of times unnecessarily nowadays i just do little things you know even intention setting or um when i take a shower that i cleanse myself or you know little things like that for me is already my daily magic it's already my daily incorporation i am very much in contact with my deities or my one deity that i is primarily focus on and work with um, my higher self my higher consciousness so that's really how I incorporate Wicca into my daily life. And then of course, um, I read a lot of tarot cards, probably a couple of times per week. What deities are you working with and how did you find them or did they call out to you? So I primarily only work with one deity and honestly, I just refer to her as the goddess. Um, I would work with different deities for um, different spell works or different rituals, but on a daily basis, no, I don't work with many different deities at all. And how did I find them or did they call out to me? Hmm. Um, I think they sort or my main goddess, which is the one I'm working with, kind of called out to me at the beginning. And I don't really work with any other gods or goddesses. So, but if I had to say ones that I'm really interested in, then it would just be a natural interest that I've already had before and just discovering them for example reading something and a name kind of like stands out to me you know, and i'm like okay that's really interesting i look into it and it's usually someone that i really really identify with or uh, feel that i have a connection to and then i will choose to work with that dd is it really possible to learn wicca from books i think the basics yes definitely i think books are a great way to learn the basic things about wicca and also to just find your own path in Wicca. Yes, I do think books are a great tool for learning about Wicca. I think the true feeling of it needs to be experienced. What do you think about Wicca has... Wait, what do you think about how Wicca changed from Gardnerian tradition? So I think Wicca has changed a lot from the Gardnerian tradition in that it's a lot more modern. We now are much more, or from what I see, I don't want to speak for everyone of course, but from what I personally see, I think a lot of, a lot of Wiccans are very eclectic and with the basis of Gardnerian. So I think Gardnerian is still for most Wiccans just a foundation. For the most part, I think most Wiccans have changed more into their own path kind of direction, if that makes sense. I don't know a lot of people that follow very specific paths anymore. Most people that I know are very eclectic or they do follow a path, but even that is not very strict. So I think that's how it kind of changed over the years. It just evolved with us, which I think is a beautiful thing. Wicca is a religion that takes action and effort. How much work is good and healthy? I think that depends so much on yourself because it also means or it implies that what do you consider to be work? Because for me, I include or incorporate Wicca into my everyday life and I don't necessarily think it is work to the point where I'm exhausted from it. I think it's more so yourself putting stress on yourself, like such as you have to do a moon ritual every single full moon or you have to you know do this or that um i think if you did that then it might become stressful and then you might overwork yourself and it would be unhealthy perhaps but i think that's just you having to listen to your intuition and i would also say that for myself i listen to my intuition and if i'm just not feeling it right now i won't do it that's a really really key thing to spells and rituals in general with wicca is don't act or don't conduct a spell if you are not in a neutral kind of state. Like if you're in a bad mood, it's probably not a good idea to have a rich or do a spell um, just because that energy will reflect onto the spell. I think it's just listening to your body and, you know, pushing yourself to become a better person, of course, is a good thing, but don't push yourself to the point where you're anxious and it's unhealthy for yourself. But in that sense, I would say just it's listening to your own body and listening to your intuition. So I don't think that there is a point of too much work 
because some people might love doing something every single day like they might love creating spells every single day and some people might only have like a spell per year that you know kind of thing so i think it's really personal and individual where is the best place for a beginner to find spells now i will make a video sometime later about spells and also about casting circles because that's another question here but i think my best advice just briefly is create your own spells you can use spells for reference for example online or in books that's where i would look probably if i was a beginner i would look online or in books and then just kind of um go with my intuition if i look online and it's a website that kind of seems a little dodgy you know or the spell seems a little weird then i probably wouldn't do it but if it feels really really like positive and i have a positive reaction to it then you know go for it but i would say try to create them yourself what is my favorite crystal and why so my favorite crystal is definitely hands down just a clear quartz crystal just because of how basic it is and basic in a good way it's just so simple and just so broad and just i love it you know i have a lot of other crystals that i really really like and i really really love as well um such as you know appetite garnet garnet <laughs> garnet uh opal i love opals as well but I think clear quartz is just my love and it's just the one crystal I'll always have on me as well and the one crystal that I suggest for any beginner and anyone trying to get into crystals um, to pick up. I think those are really great for beginners and clear quartz especially, it's amazing and yeah, that's my favorite crystal. So we're coming to an end already. So. That's actually it for this video. Um, I want to say thank you for watching and if you want to support me you can go check out my online shop. I make crystal jewelry and crystal prayer beads called malas and I also sell just straw crystals as well and you can also check out my Instagram account. I have everything linked in the description box. Thank you guys and see you next time. Blessed be!